Hello everybody, I'm Chris with JVC and we're here at CES 2023 in the JVC suite and I would like to show you the new JVC firmware update for our current generation of DILA projectors. Specifically, I'd like to show you the menu changes in firmware 2.0. All right, let's start our tour by looking on the second page of the menu and we're going to look at auto picture mode select. This now comes preset from the factory with the most likely uh, user settings. So for standard dynamic range in 2D, the projector will automatically switch to the natural preset. For standard dynamic range in 3D, it's going to switch to user 1. For HDR 10, it's going to switch to frame adapt HDR number 1. And for HLG, it's of course going to switch to HLG. Of course, all of these can be further uh, programmed to the particular requirements of that uh, user at any time. You'll also see here in this page of the menu, Filmmaker Mode. This gives you minimal processing on the picture uh, with a lot of picture settings locked in to reproduce the content as the director intended and this is compatible with uh, several devices including the Kaleidoscape uh, server systems and also the Panasonic 9000 Blu-ray players and so when there's an appropriate flag it will switch if you would like to this filmmaker mode. Going back to page one I want to show you that we now have three Frame Adapt HDR presets, Frame Adapt HDR 1, 2, and 3. And think of these as just memory slots for our dynamic tone mapping system, Frame Adapt HDR. You may preset Frame Adapt HDR number 1 for uh, uh, viewing with full light control, so you will make all the adjustments for a completely light controlled room. You might want to use Frame Adapt HDR 2 for uh, situations where you want more ambient light in the room, such as watching a sporting event. Or you may want uh, to preset other uh, features such as our HDR quantizer differently between Frame Adapt HDR 1 and Frame Adapt HDR 2 or 3. That's all up to uh, the user. Working our way down, we have the HDR quantizer. Uh, this is our auto HDR uh, level control. We have auto normal, which is how JVC has worked traditionally. If you like the brightness of your 4K HDR, then we would encourage you to leave it on HDR uh, auto normal. If you've always wanted a little more brightness in your HDR, we would encourage you to set it to auto wide, and then you'll see across the board an increase in brightness. The last thing I want to show is under more settings and I want to go to dynamic control. This is our dynamic laser dimming and people like dynamic laser dimming because it gives you a full complete fade to black, uh, completely shutting off the laser for infinite dynamic contrast. In uh, the past we had mode 1 and 2 which were two different settings that worked on average brightness. Now we have a third setting, mode 3, which works on peak brightness. The benefit is when you have content where there's not a lot of bright uh, objects in the picture, it will still maintain that brightness, but then it'll give you that full fade to black when the scene fades out. And that's our tour. Thank you for checking out this video and thank you for your interest in JVC.